it's Zoe. And that intro was kind of different. Don't know if I like it, but we're just gonna roll with it and see what happens. But before I actually start the video, I want you guys to know that you might have to shield your eyes because of how much purple you're about to see. It's gonna be a lot of purple and a lot of white, which is why I coordinated my outfit to look like this. But it's kind of scary, but kind of awesome. So let's just go ahead and start. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys the Florence by Mills little travel bag. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'll put it right here. This is what it is. And today I'm gonna be like showing you what comes in it and the products that I've tried and how much I like them and everything like that. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, so this is the little bag. And I love that it comes with a bag because they're travel products. So it's a travel bag that you can bring with you when you travel. You can even just like keep this in your purse. It's so small. And I do have one product in here that didn't come in it, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. Um, it's the Florence by Mills Sunny Skies Facial Moisturizer. It has SPF in it because it's sunscreen. <laughs> but yeah, I use this in the morning sometimes if I'm gonna be going outside. So yeah. And the bag is just so cute. I can't get over it. It has a little lettering and says Florence by Mills on it. Then it's a little bit see-through, a little bit not see-through since all the products in it are purple. So going into the bag, I'll show skincare and then makeup products that are in it. So definitely my favorite thing that is in it is the Florence by Mills Dreamy Dew Facial Moisturizer. And I'm actually so happy that it came with that because I wanted to like try it as my normal facial moisturizer, but I didn't want to like buy the full thing. So since it came with this, I've been able to try it and stuff and I love it. So I'm going to switch over to this moisturizer. And then the next skincare product is the Florence by Mills Clean Magic Face Wash, which she has three different face washes, I think. Don't quote me on that. And this is the one that I like wanted to try. I haven't tried like fully tried it yet because I still have face wash. So I don't want to like change anything until the one I'm using is gone. Cause if I like keep switching over, I don't want it to affect my face. So I did like use it a little bit though. And this is what it looks like. The texture is really weird. So most face washes, when you use them and like you go in the circular motions and do this thingy with your hands, we all do it. If you don't, that's okay. A lot of people do it though. And when they do it, the product gets bubbly and a little bit foamy, which all face washes that I've ever had have done that. This face wash doesn't foam up. It stays like the liquid consistency and it just doesn't foam up. It's really weird, but I'm pretty sure it's better for your skin, I think. Don't quote me on that either. But yeah, I watched a lot of videos and stuff and I'm pretty sure that's actually better for your face. Like, really? Oh my gosh. So yeah, once I run out of my face wash that I'm using right now, I will try that one. But even if I don't run out, if I like go on vacation or something, I will be bringing that and using that one. So I'm really excited. I know I should have like used all the products, but like, it's so awesome. Yeah. Okay. Now there's one more, one more skincare product that comes in the bag. And it's the Florence by Mills Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask. And... I kid you not, I have wanted this mask for so long, but like, I have really sensitive skin. So I didn't want to buy it 
again because it's not expensive, but it's money that I don't have. <laughs> so I really wanted to try it, but I didn't want to use it and then have a like a breakout or something or like be allergic to it or something. So when I got this, all my dreams came true. All of my dreams. Like this bag, all my dreams just came in it. It's crazy how every single product I wanted to try came in it. So yeah, when you open it, it is so pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's like purple metallic. It's so pretty, I love it. And okay, so we're gonna read the instructions together and we're gonna test it on our arm. Okay, so peel off mask. We keep it clean. Oh, not for individuals. Oh no, there's no instructions on it. I think you just like put it on though and then like let it dry and then peel it off. So I'm gonna put it on my arm right now and then like show you guys the rest of the stuff that came in it just because I really wanna show you guys this cause it's gorgeous. I know I've said that so many times. It also smells really good. Smells like cucumbers with a hint of like lemon. So the thing I really like about like these skincare products is that literally all of them are either scented like cucumber, lemon, or like even grass, but like grass is not a bad smell. Like it's amazing. Okay. I have it on my arm. Now we have to let it dry. So while that's drying, I don't know how long it's gonna take, so I'm just gonna wait like 10-ish minutes and talk to you about some other stuff after I get it off my hand. Okay, I acquired some hand sanitizer. A few moments later. Okay, so now that that just happened, I actually just like recorded like 10 minutes of the video and it wasn't even recording. So we're gonna start off smooth. Hopefully the rest goes as planned. So I have this top on now, which I said this before, but I'm just gonna have to say everything again. I'm pretty sure this actually goes better with it than my other top. Like, I think it does. So, you know, everything happens for a reason. Maybe it was a good thing that I got the mask on my top. And so I applied a little more of this to my arm since when I got on my other shirt, a bunch of it came off. So now I'm just gonna like wait like 10-ish minutes until it possibly dries. If not, maybe longer. So basically I really like the scent of the mask. It smells like kind of like lemons and cucumber combined. It has more of like a sweet sensation though. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure I already said this. I'm not sure since I've said a lot of things twice, but the moisturizer, I've been using this since, like I got this on Christmas. I've been using it every day and night since I got it. And there's still moisturizer in here. So like it lasts so long because this is only 0.50 ounces and even the travel size is one ounce and then the normal size is 1.7 ounces and considering 0.50 ounces has lasted me since Christmas and there's still more in here it definitely like you're gonna get your money back and the moisturizer the dewdrop moisturizer specifically smells like cucumbers to me and I really like it because it's so refreshing and it just smells so good. And then the face wash, I know I haven't like fully used it yet, but the face wash smells more like lemons. It's like lemons with a hint of grass and cucumber, but it's more on the lemony side. <laughs> And then lastly on the skincare, this one didn't come with it as you know, but this one doesn't really have a scent. Like all of the other products have like either a lemon, grass or cucumber scent, 
but this doesn't really have a scent. Like, I'm not sure if it's because there's SPF in it, but that's probably why. But yeah, it just doesn't really have a scent, which I'm not complaining because everything else does, and it's not a bad thing for skincare to not have scents. <laughs> And now moving on to the makeup portion. Um, yeah, those were the three things that had skincare. And then there are three other things that are makeup. So I have used all of these items and I really like them all. So the first thing I'll tell you about is the lip gloss it comes with. It's, oh my gosh, that's really small writing. The bottom says Mellow Mills. I don't know if that's like the color. I personally don't really know. But yeah, the bottle's really tiny, but it'll last a really long time. And the color is so pretty, by the way. This is the color. I don't know if you can even see that. That's the color. And I feel like, like the wand stopper thing is like the perfect size to apply it. The only bad thing about it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, is that it does, like, your hair gets stuck in it and, like, it has a sticky, like, sensation once you're wearing it. But I feel like a lot of lip glosses have that, so it's not really something that's not normal. And, yeah, that's pretty much all about the lip gloss. Next, the blush, the cream blush. I was kind of surprised it was a cream blush, but at the same time, I'm not surprised just because like of the whole thing that like Millie Bobby Brown skincare is. And yeah, she worked on it a really long time. So I guess the cream blush was just better than the powder blush. So this is the color of the cream blush. That is not showing up on the camera very well. I feel like that gives you a better look at what it looks like. And yeah, it's really pretty. It's more of a dark red type of color. And when I use it, I just like put a little bit on my finger and then like do a line instead of dots. Because I tried using this the first time and I just did like two dots and it, I think I let it dry too long and it kind of like ended up blotchy on my face. So I just do a line and then like immediately blend it out and it ends up good that way. Just don't like do both sides and then blend it. Just blend it immediately because if you do that, it's so pretty and yeah. And even though these items are travel size, they last literally so long, especially since I'm personally not using them every day, but it'll vary depending on how much you use them and how much you use. And then the very last item that comes in the travel bag is the mascara. And literally before I got this, I went to Ulta and I was like, I really wanna get this mascara. But I have two other mascaras at home that like, I still have so much. So I didn't get it, but now I do have it. So I was able to try it before I like was gonna buy it or something. I haven't bought the full version yet because, like I said, I still have two full tubes of different mascaras. So I don't want to buy one until those are out. But yeah, it's a pretty reasonable size. And then it has the same exact brush as the normal size, which I'm really happy about because I was kind of afraid that it would be smaller since the tube is smaller. But it's not, and obviously it's black. And... Personally, I really like like the shape and size of like the brush itself and everything like that. So yeah, all I can say is that it's amazing and you should get it because there's not really much that I can say about the mascara except it looks great, it makes your lashes look great. That's pretty much all I can say <laughs> because that's all mascara does, I think. And so those were all the products in the Florence by Mills travel bag. Now let's see if this is ready to come off. It's weird though, when I'm like, normally it's straight, but then when I try to like show you, it's not straight. So I'm just gonna like be like this. Okay, it's officially dry. I just wanted to make sure before like I peeled it. Okay, 
it's dry. We can peel it off. So, it peeled in like one strand. Okay, there is a little bit left though, but that was probably my fault. Okay, so yeah, for the most part, it peeled off in one strand and it was actually so satisfying. Let me just ooh, give you a close up. It's scaly. Since I used it on my arm, there's like a lot of crevices in my arm. So like when I took it off, you could see all of that in the thing. So that was like so cool. I love the mask. I'm definitely buying the full version like immediately. I have to, obviously. So yeah, um, I know peeling the mask in front of you didn't really do much, but like it peeled off all in one strand and it took about 10 to 15 minutes for it to completely dry. I'm pretty sure the one spot that didn't peel off didn't peel off because it was still a tiny bit wet, like not fully dry. But yeah, I feel like that went really well. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And if you want to see more videos on skincare and makeup, or even want me to review like specific products, just let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to do that for you. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, and bye!